Hello, my name is Steve, and I really hope this is recording right. This is a game I know nothing about, and I'm guessing it's a furry thing, because it's free to play on Steam, and I was looking for some free to play cancer to play, and I know n absolutely nothing about it. A lot, the only thing I've done was put it in full screen mode, and turn it to make sure it was on English, and it's not in the right resolution. There was no setting that I could find to put it to 1080p. With heavy footsteps, I clamber up the staircase to my apartment, exhausted and out of breath. And, okay, I'm just a little bit further. Eventually, I reach the top, greeted by, by, by my door before me. I'm terrible at reading out loud, so this is going to be bad. Oh, what time is it? 12, okay, I'll say I start recording this at 12, so at 12.20 will be the end of the f first episode. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this, but I might. Uh, with a sigh of relief, I drop my backpack to the floor and search for my keys. Hmm, where are they? I reach into my jeans to no avail. Probably still in my bag then. Hey, oh, hey, finally. There they are. I take my newfound keys and go to open the door, or at least attempt to. Er. I can barely keep my eyes open. After a bit of effort, I open the door, thankfully doing so without scraping the keys all over the place. God, I've just been so tired. I've just been so tired since we finished, I don't know what's gotten into me. I stand up there and close my eyes for a moment. They're too heavy to open, so for now, I don't. Maybe I'm just stressing over this too much. Why is it just a gray screen? Great show we just pulled off. He's not all behind. I mean, I wanted to stay, but I would just collapse if I hadn't gone home. And after everything is all said and done, I won't be able to hang out with the rest of the crew we worked so hard for tonight. Still, seeing the excitement in everyone's faces warmed my heart, even if I was even if I was only stage crew, if I felt it too. If only I wasn't so tired. I could fall asleep any moment now. Luckily, my bed is merely a few steps ahead of me. Oh, here we go. What? Who's there? Oh, that's a tiger. I blink and try to focus. At the, oh, I'm trying to focus my tired eyes awake. What the? Somehow, in my room right now, there's some sort of tiger man sitting at my bed and, well, reading one of my books. What? What's happening? Am I hallucinating? What the heck is this? I lose my grip around my bag, letting it slip to the floor below with a thud. You. Your. Lyo. Is there something wrong? Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see you. Huh? You can talk? He called me Lyo. So he knows my name, too? You. What are you? How rude of you to ask what I am. After all, I'm a garden tiger of your family. What are these options? I do love you. Play. Of your family. Hmm. You don't recognize me, do you? G guardian tiger? What's that? Hmm, well, you have a guardian tiger in my family. Actually, I should say guardian tigers. After all, I was born into a, into a family of Jitong mediums. No clue what that means. My family running their own temple. Despite that, I never expected to see a real guardian tiger, that's for sure. Sure, I've seen a lot of tiger statues, but a living, speaking, and well, muscular guardian tiger? How is this even possible? Aren't guardian tigers considered gods? Even if they exist, normal people can't just see them, right? So, sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm doing the nervous stutter, not even realizing it. But you could see, you couldn't see me before. How is it that, you, how is it that you are able to distinguish me so suddenly? Such feats were quite beyond your level of spirit to power. Uh, I'm just as confused as you are. I have to figure this out. Well, he said that I couldn't see him before. Does that mean he's been here this whole time? I don't know, think about it. I did bring a small tiger statue with me from home. Could that be why he's here? Even though I was raised in a family of G-Tong mediums, it's not like I've seen any spirits before. So, if this is for a real garden tiger, why exactly can I see him all of a sudden? Hmm, Lyle. Did you not have that Aboriginal dance performed today? Do you recall anything strange? Uh, well, I don't know. The only thing I can think about is how tired I have to show it. That must have something to do that I don't know. Not that it matters. This is a good thing anyway. You can hear me. I can 
talk to you. There's no need to care about it further. How can a garden tiger be so careless? Oh, um, so you're a garden tiger. The very one in the statue I brought here to Taipei. Correct. So, does that mean you've been staying in my room this whole time? Ever since I moved to Taipei for college, I've been living alone in this small apartment. I'm a student, so it's normal for me to not care much about my room. Not to mention what I do in it. Then, if this guy's been staying with me all this time... Of course, I've been here the whole time. After all, I cannot travel far from my statue. Makes sense. I did put this statue on my bookshelf. He has no other choice but to stick around here all the time. Uh, wait. You have seen that, right? What are you- what do you refer to? I mean, uh, so you watch everything I do at home? You mean masturbation? Correct. Of course, I've seen you do such things. Oh, this is gonna be- this is gonna be great, isn't it? Not like this. Not like this. There's no need to feel embarrassed. I've been watching over you since you were a child. I've seen worse. This is weird. Oh, is so it? So, does that mean everything I look at? Uh, oh yes, you do have quite unusual tastes. However, I suppose you won't find that kind of boyfriend in reality. Oh my god. Yes, of course, I know I can't find him. You even know I like guys? What did you expect? I have seen every single file on your computer. Would you wish for me to list all of them? Alright, alright, I'm just, uh, uh, shocked. Regardless, it's quite wonderful to finally have someone that can channel spirits. It's been decades. I didn't expect one to ever encounter to ever encounter one. Oh my god. Decades? Does that mean other people in my family have been able to see spirits as well? There is one in every generation of your family. However, we have lacked one for one or two generations now. We've been worried about the power being lost forever. I never thought we could actually communicate with spirits, so all our rituals are more than just for show. Okay, so, what makes me different? Well, you have a decent amount of spirit power since you were a child, just not enough to discern us. However, that changed today. The garden tire links close and sniffs at me. His muscles pull and towers in front of me with that well-outlined body, as well as his soft, stripy fur. My heart almost skips a beat. It seems like someone caused a change in your spirit powers, but how, Lyle? You don't suppose you have any ideas? Nah, nope. The only thing is me being exhausted, but considering how much I was running around at the performance tonight, it's not like I should be tired anyway. And what's with this edgy sounding spirit power thing? What kind of bootleg shonen anime is this? Oh my god, I have no clue what that means, but I love it. No ideas? Forget about it. At least you're not hurt. As I said, this is a good thing. For a supposed garden tiger of my family, isn't he, isn't he way too nonchalant about what happened to me? So, you think he'll be, there'll be any side effects to this? Doubtful. But I may need to observe you for a while longer. Fear not. As long as I am here, you will be fine. How can you be so confident? Well, I am a god, after all. In the unlikely case that I cannot handle it, we can seek simply seek help from the city god or even the holy mother herself back at our temple. This just makes me think of, uh, uh, Dagon, er, how can you be so naive? I'm a god. How do you plan on killing a god? Yeah, that's all that made me think of. There is, there is nothing those two couldn't handle. I guess it does sound impressive. Although, many people despise the possessing ritual involving contacting them. Regardless, even if you don't seem to be a fan of us, at least one can still ask for their blessing of safety. As for myself, after watching over you all, for all these years, I am more than happy to be able to chat with you. Well, it's good to hear that he's happy to speak with me, although he seems a bit concerned about me. Also, I wonder why people wouldn't, wouldn't be too wouldn't want to be possessed. Oh, I'm terrible at reading. Wouldn't want... Why people wouldn't want to be possessed? Could the tales of the Oracle's misfortune be true? Wait, what do you mean... Why did you say... What did you mean by saying, I don't seem to be a fan? Huh? Who'd come around at this time of night? I didn't even hear them buzz at the front door. Hopefully it's not a neighbor coming to complain. I haven't been that noisy, have I? I look at the tiger sitting on my bed. I've got to hide him. 
But it's not like other people are gonna see him. I can't just have someone walking around in here seeing a real live breathing tiger man. Wait, wait. Shouldn't I be the only person who can see him? I take a deep breath and look back at him. He doesn't seem to care what's behind the door or feel the need to hide himself. Is he, it seems I've worried over nothing. With that anxiety quelled, my worry turns to whoever is outside my door. With no other choice, I walk over and open the door with a satisfying click. The door swings open to reveal something. Something standing before me. A hooded figure? Wait, so I'm guessing this isn't a furry thing. I'm guessing I'm a normal human and I'm seeing tiger gods? Uh, who are you? Oh. Oh. This can't be real. Impure thoughts. First, that guardian tiger stalker. Now some kind of door knocking leopard. Clearly, this exhaustion has made me delirious. Who could it be? I can't really think of any leopard gods or monsters, not to mention his strange outfit. Impure thoughts. Actually, hold on. That reminds me of some of our costumes. Oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna try. Uh, what? Hello. <laughs> like a... <laughs> Oh my god. Lick a loo. <laughs> That's wrong. Um, hello. I guess I was on the right track. You must be an aboriginal spirit. Uh, I go inside? What? It takes me a second more than I realize he wants to enter my room. It is impolite for me to leave him at the doorway, but... Uh, that's what you meant, but first, well, what are you? Clouded leopard. <laughs> Rukai. Okay, his name's Rukai. I can say that. Okay. Are you a god? A god of the Rukai? Oh no, that's not- Oh, I wish that was his name. I can say that. Spirit. Clouded Leopard Spirit. So you are here to... Let me bring many spirits to... He looks around for a moment and then points to the leaflet on my bed. It's the schedule of today's performance. In other words, he brought spirits to watch our show? Our choreography was inspired by an aboriginal funeral ceremony, but it's hard to believe that they were actual aboriginal spirits watching us. The director would be over the moon if he knew. You can see? What? He points directly at my He points directly at my eyes with black pointed claws. Huh. So that's how beastmen fingers are. Oh wow. He's got cute little pink paw pads too. <laughs> I helped, you see? Hmm? So does that mean that he's awakened my spirit powers? But what for you? Clouded leopard. Well, I know, you help. Help? So he awakened my powers because he wanted my help. That makes sense so far. I have a bad feeling about this. So, about this help you want. Do I have to go anywhere? Wu Tai. What? That's really, really far away. Wu Tai. Wait. That place came up in our research for the performance. If I remember right, the Rukai people do actually live in Wutai. Which means he's saying what he's saying makes sense, but that doesn't change the fact that P Ping Tong is on the completely opposite side of Taiwan. So, I, and I don't even know what he wants for. Why should I even think about going with some spirit that just came knocking on my door? I'm an idiot. I just re okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna break the immersion for a second. For some reason I thought this was in Thailand, because I'm an absolute idiot and I'm always getting Thailand and Taiwan mixed up in my head. And I was wondering, when it had languages select, why Thai wasn't on there? I mean, I can't read Thai, it was all Chinese looking characters, and I can at least distinguish Thai from Chinese looking things. And I just realized because this doesn't take place in Taiwan, it takes no, it takes place in Taiwan, not Thailand. I'm an idiot. Oh, jeez. Why does this? Why does he have to give me that look? Though he doesn't show it. I think I let him down. I mean, he did go out of his way to awaken these powers. After all, I just refused them straight out. Hey, you. Be sure to remember that you never asked before giving him these powers. Now you've barged into his house. And the first thing you've done is demand him to leave with you. I mean, I'd leave with him. He is pretty good looking. Even for this, 
Even for the standards of Aborigines, don't you think that's rude? A Hun spirit? Where's the spirit you speak of? I'm a genuine god. I'm a god. How could you kill a god? Don't be so naive. I've been standing here this whole time. Surely you saw, yes? You, you still take my... You, you still want to take my boy away with so much as a greeting. I thought I have seen the worst, but you Aborigine, you truly are appalling. I am not evil. Okay, I'm gonna try and do some voice acting for these guys. Not evil, so you say. How do I know you're not just some demon in disguise? To me, you aboriginal deities are not so different from demons. I'm going really hard with the Ds here, so I really should get a pop filter. This is my child, and I don't trust you with- and I don't trust your words. You may leave. None of your business. It is my business, not yours. <laughs> the leopard and tiger lock eyes. The tiger cracks his knuckles, and he looks ready for a fight. Now, as much as- as good looking as this guy is, pretty sure this one would win in a fight. <laughs> Whoa, wait, how did things end up with them trying to fight each other? Stop! No, no fighting inside my room. Two men, well, cats, glare at each other whilst I stand between them. Doesn't have much of a bulge, but I don't care. It still looks good. I figure there's there's no way they'll hurt me, right? Right? But if they're going to fight, what else can I do? But aren't they spirits? I don't even know if I can touch them. What if they use some sort of spells or telekinetic powers to fight? Is there any point in getting between them at all? Wait, wait. Who decided to call me right now of all times? The ringtone had cut their, through their standoff, both turning around to look at me, watching closely to see what's going on. Trembling, I keep an eye on the two puffed up cats as I reach for my phone. Do they even know how phones work? I pick up the phone. It's Sh Sh Shuchi. Sem Suchi Senpai from the dance club. I thought Senpai was spelled with an M. That just says how much. That just shows how much I know about weeb culture. Hello, Senpai. Uh, what's up? Hey, Lyo. Just calling to check on you. You looked. You looked. You know, You looked about ready to pass out before you left. We are kind of worried. You feeling better now? Well, I figured out. I figured you'd be hungry, so I got some food for you. Let's eat dinner together. I don't know what that accent is. What? Right now? If Senpai does come over, what will I do about these two big cats? It's probably safe to assume he can't see them. In which case, I'll just have to pretend I can't see them. If Magnus taught me anything, this isn't going to end well. Oh, manga. But I'd be rude to refuse him. But the sound of he's already brought dinner for us. On the other hand, why is he so concerned with me all of a sudden? I mean, sure, I've talked to him, but I wouldn't call his close. He doesn't really buy dinner and check up on me. You... You on your senpai? What? You on your own... You on your own senpai? Hmm? Yep. Er, how far off are you? Heh <laughs> I'm actually downstairs. What? See ya. Coming up now. Wait. Sam Sampai. We hung up. <laughs> okay. He didn't. I didn't expect. What am I going to do now? I glance at the two clueless big cats next to me. Should I ask them to hide? Shall should I tell them? But since Senpai won't be able to see them, it should be okay. Crap. I need to at least close the door before he comes up. Tugging Leopard by the shoulder, I push him into the room, shutting the door behind him. Guys, just hold on to a second. My senpai is coming over. Is coming over, so please keep it down and stay quiet. Understood? Two big cats nod obediently. Okay, so what I need you to Leo, I'm I'm here. I brought you some Lao Main. I think I'm saying that right. I thought you'd like it. Yeah? Uh um just a second, senpai! I gulp and look back at the two big cats as I open the door. Wait, he's a cat too? Wait. 
Wait, so are we all furries now? Okay, I'm I'm really confused now. <laughs> huh? You're Choo Choo Senpai? What happened to Senpai? This can't be right, Senpai's definitely human. Okay, I am so confused right now. This guy in front of me is about the same height and same... same he's got the same height and the same short. Same short? Okay. And small build as Senpai. But I know for sure Senpai is not a cat. If someone at school was a beast man, there'd be mayhem over it. Uh... Right. Lao, are you? Senpai, you look... You look like... How How did you... Lao, what's wrong? Why are you so confused? Can't be. Wait. Can you see me now? What? What are you? Your aura. It's quite strange. Uh... So I'm not wrong? Okay. I am so confused. Senpai, you're a cat? No, I'm a leopard cat. You would know the name ends with cat. I've got nothing to do with lowly house cats. Okay, I'm going to end this here. So, I will see you guys next time.